Saturday and as you can see it's raining we have Storm Antonio, is it, Jason? I have no idea what it's called. I don't know. Storm Antonio. So there is no boat work outside going on today. As you can see <laughs> in the distance there, big black clouds. It's windy and raining. So we can't do any deck work again. Can't do any outside work. Well, there's things inside I wouldn't mind doing, but they all involve being outside at some point. I need to cut some wood for the V berth for the ceilings, but that means me having to get wood out of the storage up on trestles and cutting it and so i'm not going to be doing that today no you won't be able to keep hold of it no and insulation which which i'm not going to be able no, to keep hold of not in 65 mile an hour winds um <sighs> lots of things that i could do but they all involve having doors open and rain yeah. coming well, in. Well, they end up being outside. <laughs> yeah. The end result means outside. So, yeah, we're stuck again. Start the engine, Zed. No, we're <laughs> not starting the engine. Um, but yeah, Jason has a week off this week. The weather <laughs> looks like it's improving from tomorrow. So hopefully some work we can get some work done on the boat but this weather is putting a pay putting a pay putting pay to us getting on so yeah that's gonna be jason for the rest of the day i'm guessing well that's nothing normal it's like jason on a daily So it's Monday, the sun is shining and we're about to get on with some deck. The weekend was a complete and utter washout. So we did nothing because it was, well, it poured down with rain all day Saturday. The wind wasn't quite as strong as what they yeah, predicted. Yeah, it was meant to be like a storm. Antonio. Antonio. It was and... more like a poof. <laughs> Well, yeah, you had a tiny little bit of rain. You thought it was going to rain all day, but it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so you couldn't do anything. And then, of course, some days we can't make any noise. So, but Jason has a week off. So today we are starting on the deck. Also, much to Jason's disgust, you all agreed on <laughs> painting the wheelhouse white. <laughs> Uh, which surprised us a little, didn't it? Yeah, you're all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would look quite nice, White. I think the upkeep would be easier. Um, well, I don't know, you're sanding it anyway. I don't mind sanding it. it. I don't mind. Don't mind doing Probably that. I've got to take all the windows out. What? Got to take all the windows out. Well, I don't know about you taking all the windows out. I'll well, have to take the windows out to paint underneath the windows and put them, re seal them all back in. Mm. <laughs> so you didn't say that, did you? <laughs> well, mind you, they probably need doing. They do. Because they are, they leak in little corners. So he hasn't answered whether he's going to go with the white. <laughs> it's the least of my worries at the moment. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're concentrating on the decks. So we're going for up the side of the wheelhouse yeah there's a hole I've, I've poked the hole last week and showed you where it was a it was a little bit soft so i'm tr I'm pulling that up only trouble is we've got the diesel deck fill in the bit of deck that i need to pull up also the door frame runs on that bit of deck 
and both of the stanchions run on that bit of deck as well. So it's quite involved. It's a very small bit of deck, but there's a lot in it in a very small space. So I'm not looking forward to that bit. I'm trying to think of something else to do, but I can't. No, you have to continue. Uh, yeah. We're showing you a bit of deck, which you've probably seen, but we'll give you another look. Right, so this is the patch in question. I mean, I think it's all right like that, to be honest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just step over it, Jay. <laughs> So, a little, little bit uh, the, soft. Yeah, the discussion was <laughs> is trying to get away. Shall I explain? Yeah. With this bit of deck, I can slide it under the bulwarks and it will just drop down into the right place, screw down nice and easy. This bit, I'd have to remove the door frame take stanchions out um, the bulwark is thicker here than it is down there and I wouldn't be able to get a bit of wood in in one go I'd have had to cut it down the center and put one bit in that way and one bit in that way so due to the bulwarks here being rotten and the end of the plank there I think I'm going to cut that plank out and I'm going to cut down to the next frame so when we replace this plank it will come all the way to there. Take the capping off so there will be nothing along here at all. That way I can drop the deck in that way and drop it down. Should make my life a bit easier. It's all got to come out, it's all right on anyway. So I think that's the plan. I hope you got all that. <laughs> it will make more sense because, as I do it. <laughs> yeah, because this now all don't show it. filters along. We've not, I don't think we've actually shown you the hole in the side of the boat. Right, so is everybody ready to see? The one part of the boat that when we bought it, I went, oh my God. But Jason assures me, it's fairly easy. I love it when he assures me like that. It doesn't give me any confidence. This is the only garden we've got now. <laughs> God. But we both agreed that this cannot be left another winter because I will have no kitchen window. So this is the extent of what we're dealing with. Let me bring you down a bit. Which runs all the way along to where Jason's just told you he's going to cut out the bulwarks. Yeah, it comes along to there. So we've got one, two, three, four, four, five planks down that we need to replace which scares me a lot. As you can see, we have our own moss garden. <laughs> we tend not to touch it because... Because it does that. Yeah, please don't, <laughs> please don't. But it has, at some point, had some sort of repair before. Not a very good one. No, I mean, you can see the frames. That those frames there are right. Don't know how far it goes down. But once we do, the kitchen inside I'll be able to get to those frames and replace them. It's only a five minute job. I love it when he says that. It's only a five minute job. So far. Actually I'd just like to point out <laughs> the whole boat it, was a five minute job. It was two years this week we've had the boat. We've been uh, the proud owners of Calmora. <laughs> So we've not done too bad in two years. We've stripped it, we've gutted it, we've replaced the front decks, we've varnished, we've done inside. Done a fair bit. We've done a fair bit, being we've only had odd weeks and weekends, so. Usually one day a week. Yeah. 
<laughs> and living on it. And living on it. So yeah. Hmm. This this was the decider when we bought this boat. And Jason still tries to convince me. But that's it's not it's not that hard, that fit. Once you've got the planks to the right size, you can just cut the old ones out and refit the new ones. It's not. I would prefer to do planks than the decking. Because the decking, well, there's no fiberglass in. There's no, they're a straight plank. There's hardly any curve to them at all. So they should just pull, they're just straight planks that you can screw straight in. We don't know what happened this side, whether it's had a bit of a bash no, it's just, or it's just It's just where the, water, rotted. where the water comes out of there. Those holes are from the inside of the upper helm position. When the water runs along here, it's gone under there and it just sat under there. Yeah, and because it's not very, on, one thing on this boat, it's not very good with drainage off the deck holes, is it? No, no, so, it has the smallest, what they're called gunnels, tiny little holes for the water to run out there. There's a few of them, but they're all in the wrong place. Yeah. The water sits between them. So, so what starts off as a bit of deck work is now running into the hole in the side of the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Which means I'll get my big saw out. <laughs> <laughs> but also, the step is on its last legs. Well, it's what's behind the step and behind the door. Yeah, it's rotten. Don't know if we the back, get... e back edge is rotten of the wheelhouse there. So I will probably bring that out a little bit extra, a little bit further next time. Thicken this up a little bit. Just so it. Oh, it's been there. <laughs> uh, just so it covers the old damage. Oh, can you see me that close? <laughs> it must have had like a right close up of like a side of my <laughs> ear or something. Then. Yeah. So you best get on then. We've done enough waffling. We've shown we've shown them the hole. I'm ashamed to say. <laughs> the small little hole. So now begins the hard work. Oh, it's lunch time. No, it's not. <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> replacing
that's probably why I was having a little bit of problem cutting through the nail <laughs> or screw. It's a big hole in our boat. the first little bit of deck out which, which was extremely wet um, luckily the oak beams are all pretty good just need a little bit of a dry out it's starting to dry out already um, so yeah move on to this section So this is how far we've got, or oh, sorry, Jason's got. I'll be out getting lunch supplies. Mmm. <laughs> it's a little wet. It looks it. Are you having to be careful around the diesel tank? No. I just can't get that off all. Got one, two, three three screws are broken and that one just spins I've got one out uh -huh. so I think I may have to get a big pair of pipe grips on the actual filling there can take it out of the tank but I might need a little bit of WD-40 around it first so. it does look extremely wet though yeah um. Yeah. Luckily, it's all coming off to be replaced. Yeah, I mean, you look how dry that is now around there compared to there. There. Uh, yeah. At least it should stay dry now. To be honest, when you look where you've cut the wood. Yeah. It looks lovely. That's the wood I put in. No, where you've cut the that. bulwarks. That? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of it is. It's just places that are. That's why I took it back to there, because that was okay. So we're just putting a little uh, thing out there. If anyone's got any spare Iroko offcuts that they would like <laughs> off to. Offcuts of 20 metres long. <laughs> no, sorry. 
<laughs> 20 foot long, yeah. <laughs> not 20 metres. But they would like to donate to us, we would be eternally grateful. <laughs> Somehow. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen, Kerry. No. <laughs> we haven't got that many subscribers. <laughs> We're not that popular. No. I don't know why. I think I'm quite popular. <laughs> well, seriously. Yeah, I don't know what to put up with you. <laughs> got to finish taking the bit of decking that's underneath here without taking that off <laughs> so it'd just be a lot of chiseling and multi-tooling and swearing mainly well, you do it then. yeah then i've got to try and get the deck fill off find a big pair of grips to try and undo that and what if you can't get that off it's got to come off there isn't uh there's no part of it that that can't come off because i need to put a deck there <laughs> so can't you go around it no it's too big i need to mount that on it. so i mean I, I could if i had to but i could always figure it out somehow but I'll get it off. Mm. Look forward to seeing the clip of that. One way or t'other, it's coming off. <laughs> and that <laughs> is the deck. <laughs> <What's> the deck? <laughs> I think those uh, screws were a little bit corroded. Oh yeah, just a bit. <laughs> it's like, it's it's like an old tooth or yeah. something, isn't it? it is. Yeah, it's completely uh, add it. Hmm. Can you do it then? Thanks. So he's got the big, uh, big tools out now. <laughs> oh God. Will it come off? <laughs> he's moving the boat more than anything. Duck. Jason was hoping for so now he can just slide in that new bit of deck or is it just twisting no it's just a longer <laughs> thread than I thought it was going to be well <laughs> 
there. Don't drop anything down there. Whew. Well, that's all right then. Well, at least we know we've got two full tanks of diesel. Yeah, we have to... have to sort that out and empty, pump one in. The dock completely full, but I reckon there's one full tank out of, at least more than one full tank. We pump all of it into one, clean the other tank out, and then get some uh, filters and push it all back into the other tank through filters. You can't tell he's desperate to start the engines, can you? No, well, that'll do for the old uh, <laughs> diesel eater for winter. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least that came off. We'll leave you to carry on as your... How long we got? It's 20 past five. Yeah. So we shall leave you to carry on. Yeah. Tapping, drilling. Yeah, I've done, done it all the way to there. I've done half of it. I've just got a little bit there to do. All right, so I've managed to hollow out all of the wood from under the doorstep and now we've got that loose I can go and cut the bit of wood and it should slide up there and sit on there nicely although it's permanent but sort of temporary as well because the old deck finishes on that line and you can see here we've got the outside planking an inside plank and plywood so the outside plank sits on here the inside plank sits there and it has a couple of tenons that sit down inside that now I haven't got the outside plank in or the inside plank in yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the plywood straight across and then fibre glass over the whole lot. And when it comes to do the planking, I shall just cut it back along that line, remove this and then I can do the planking. I think that's probably going to be the best option. Well, that's what I'm doing. Whether it's the best option or not, who knows? against time it's six o'clock six o'clock the time we have to stop making noise Touch-ups. Oh, just a little bit off there. Trouble is, we can get it back out. <laughs> I take it you're going to cut round that diesel bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well 
done that, man. I would never have thought of that. That's why they pay me the big bucks. <laughs> oh, Laura. Yeah. It's like your head too big or anything. <laughs> That's why. But that was generally very clever. If only I was clever enough to keep remembering where I put the pencil. Oh, there it is. <laughs> find a knife to sharpen it. What happened to your other pencil? I've got loads of pencils. Just can't remember where you put them all. Oh yeah. I've got one there. I've got one there. I've got one there. But none of them. I've got any points on. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. They're pointless. Oh god, the jokes just keep coming. Just about there. So he cut his hole. Woods expanded. <laughs> Tap with the hammer. Look at that. What skills you have. First time as well. <laughs> well. That sets it up nicely for tomorrow. Yes. Was it as tricky as you first thought? Not. Not now I took this out, I would never have been able to get it in there with that in there. Worked out pretty well. So I think that's it for today. Yeah. It's skillful hole cutting. Yeah, that is perfect. I'm happy with that. Good. <laughs> it's always nice when something works first time. Yeah, and it wasn't too hot and not too windy. No. I think it's a little chilly today. Chilly? <laughs> you and your chilly. Could have done with like a degree and a half warmer and a few knots less on the wind and it would have been perfect. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, never happy. <laughs> it's part right. of being English though, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so thanks for watching this episode. Please remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.